How's it going out there? I am here in the shop working on the Vega. It's been a while since I did an update, so I thought I'd make a video here. Um, what you're looking at is my old dash. That's out of that 73 Vega. It's the stock st standard sweep dash. And what I'm getting ready to do is replace it with a GT dash. And there's that. I got it from a guy in Pennsylvania. Poses a number of problems. Foremost among them is do I want to use the, the stock gauges out of the GT dash, which can be done. The only problem is you only have a fuel gauge and a temperature gauge. The other two is a clock that goes there, which is useless to me, or an amp meter which is also useless. So I kind of took this all apart and rewired it to get it ready. But I've since determined that I'm not going to go this route. I'm going to remove all these gauges. I'm going to remove all that. And I'm going to replace them with autometer gauges. There's a the water temp. These are two and a sixteenth, which is going to require me to open these holes up as wide as I can get them to, to accommodate the new gauges, which I hate to do to a, a good GT dash, but it's either that or manufacture one, and I really don't want to fight, fight that. So I'm just going to go ahead and open them up, stick some good gauges in there. These are the other gauges. I have a speedometer on order. It was on back order, so I gotta wait for it to come in. Got an oil gauge, fuel gauge, voltmeter. So that's what's gonna go in this dash. It's gonna be quite a bit of work, but worth it, I think, in the end. If anybody has a need for a GT tack or a GT speedometer or GT gauges, I've got all four. Just hit me up and we can we can hook that up. Or if anybody needs a sweep dash, there's one I've got one that you can have as well. So that's what I'm up to right now. I will go ahead and show you what I did to the front end of the car. I've got the five lug conversion all done now. New springs, shocks, ball joints, all new front end pieces. That's all finished. Worked out pretty well. Had to get a new steering box because the old one was leaking water and I just decided I'd just get a new one rather than try to hassle with rebuilding it. So it's all brand new, finished. New pitman arm. New everything. Springs were a job getting in there, but I got them. Just for future reference, if you ever have to put V8 springs in, these are V6 Monza with air conditioning springs. And I couldn't get a, a spring compressor to work the way it's designed to work, so going online I found a way to do it where you just drop it in the shock hole. Let it fall down here and attach the, the arms. There's two arms, one to go on each side. And then just draw it up slowly to where the spring compresses enough where you can close the A-arm on it. Put a bolt in it and you're done. It worked out real well. You can find that online, by the way. I got the heater core back in it. 
So that's all in, ready to go. And I'm working on right now, besides the dash, I got, I got the heater box in. And I've got everything sorted out over there as to how it goes, hooks back up. So all I gotta do is get the dash all prepped and put in there and that'll be done. But first, I have to scrub the inside and repaint everything. Including the dash, it's gonna all be black in here. I'm gonna POR 15 this floor, just to give it some added stability as far as rust is concerned. And that's where I'm at. Not a whole lot of progress, really, to be honest with you, but every time I start to do something, the idea on this was just to put the GT dash in there, but then being ADHD like I am and obsessive compulsive, I just couldn't do it this way. Just not happy. So it's got to be all redone. This was just supposed to be a driver. But I think it'll be better with the autometer dash, the autometer gauges. And uh, they're nice clean gauges. I think they're gonna work out real well. We'll see. That's about it for now. More updates to come. Thanks for watching.